name is Rachel, and I'm a reference librarian here at the branch. Uh, thank you for coming out this afternoon. Uh, we have a, an excellent program for you this afternoon. Uh, it's the Alborada Spanish Dance Theater, and they're the premier Spanish dance company in New Jersey, and also one of New Jersey's leading dance companies. So Alborada was developed and has developed a breadth of repertoire that demonstrates the diversity of Spanish dance, and also the relationship that it has to other cultures in all the parts of the world. And uh, they've performed in Tom's River and various branches in our Ocean County Library System, as well as throughout all of New Jersey and New York. And Pennsylvania. Uh, and Pennsylvania. And Delaware. And Delaware. And Delaware. And so <laughs> so I, I have, a, she, they have a whole roster. If you go on their website, they have an, an extensive website. Ava has been the, uh, the head of direct, she's the director uh, for more than 35 years now. 43. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So my calculation was incorrect. It's okay. There. But um, they played in, in different places, including the Linda and Jay Grunin Center at the Ocean County College, Rutgers University, Monmouth University, oh, yeah. uh, Mercer County Community College, Jersey City State College, uh, uh, the West Theater in Montclair, uh, the Author Lawrence or Lawrence Theater in That's Wilmington, the Delaware. That's the big new one in New Brunswick. Yeah. Oh. So in Washington, D.C., yep. and Miami, San Francisco. Oh. So the every year the company brings Spanish dance to schools in addition to their the, what they do uh, at the dance theater that they have in um, the location where your dance uh, company is. Well, we've got we rehearse at uh, in Metuchen. Okay. But we also rehearse in um, Middletown. Middletown. Okay. And. Um, Sometimes in Princeton, it depends. Ooh, I see. Depends Ooh. where we're performing. Because okay. we work with different Ooh. dance studios. Ooh. We just go into the studios and rehearse. Wonderful. So, so they, they're a master class of, of, of in, in, in teaching and also as well as performing. So this afternoon, we will have a celebration of Spanish music and dance featuring a mixture of classical, regional, and flamenco dances from Spain as well as Latin American dances from Mexico and Ecuador. With us now, Alborada Spanish Dance Theater Company. Yeah. I'm going to hire you. You're going to be our opening act. That's beautiful. Yeah, and you can explain to everything. So I think what we're going to do is immediately go into Ecuador with a beautiful dance. With a lovely dancer who is from Ecuador. All right, if I can know her. Do you know how to put on the music? I'm probably there. Light up, Sesame. Everything's made out of wool. 
And the oh. women, they wear double dresses because it's really cold up there. <laughs> Even yeah. though we're in the middle of the equator, it, Ecuador is the, uh, the Andes Mountains where the cities are, which the capital is just actually in between. Whatever you're standing, Quito, you go around, oh, yeah, yeah. Degrees, you see mountains around your volcanoes, and they're active volcanoes too. Oh. So, but the, or usually the indigenous live on the mountains, so it's pretty cold. So what they do is they wear all these dresses, the shawls, hats, and everything else. And the shoes are pretty different. I forgot them, sorry. <laughs> like uh, we don't mind. But, but um, even though, you know, it's still now we have, um, as new, the indigenous is still, they're very proud of the, where they come from. So you could have, and there are different kind of uh, tribes that they have, and you could have a lawyer an accountant, a doctor, they still wear their costumes, they still wear their dresses, because that's their pride. They don't care where, what, what um, profession they do, they still walk proudly the way they dress their ancestors. Okay, some of them do change, but some people know you see somebody at the courts dressed like this, representing their clients. So that's one great thing about Ecuador. They're very proud. The women and the men are very proud. The men usually wear long ponytails. They always have long hair. That's something, once they cut, it's like something bad happened. Okay, <laughs> so now also this. See the necklace? This represents how wealthy they are. Ah. Oh. Yes, so they have two or three, you know, it goes in between. So I took advantage, I took a lot. So I mean, <laughs> it's not doesn't mean that I'm wealthy, but this is what represents. So I just went, and they also wear red because that's to keep the evil away. Okay. okay? <laughs> so the dance I'm going to do is a small, very quiet dance that it represents how they feel. You know, they could start very soft and then they could start dancing happily. Okay. So here I am. The name is Guayacatin is the name of the dance, but it's from the Andes Mountains, from Ecuador. Okay. Thank you. I was in Quito. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to send this to you. 